Welcome to another episode of Maker Monday, where we put the smart into smart home one episode at a time. And this time, we're gonna be discussing trad free lights from IKEA. We're gonna be talking about setting them up, pairing them, adding a gateway, and... Hi. Hello. You're not Bernd? Uh, no, I'm Bjorn. Um, He's yeah, Bjorn. Bernd is not in the office yet, so yesterday he said he wanted to try out his new wake-up light. <laughs> <laughs> Guess his new wake-up light is not working. Björn is a sysadmin here at Pestler and, and you're gonna talk to us today. What are we, what are we discussing? Yeah, we're talking a bit of, about uh, Treadfree, which is a smart home product from IKEA. How, how do you actually say that? Treadfree, Treadfry, Treadfree. Treadfree? I've got a Swedish any... name, but I'm not from Sweden. So. <laughs> if there's any Swedes out there watching our video, comment on us and feel free to correct our pronunciation on this. Let's go through exactly what we're gonna, what we're gonna do. So what do we have here? We've got a, we've got a Treadfree light. Yep. Then we've got a Treadfree remote. Mm -hmm. So this is a remote where you can place somewhere okay. in your room. Right. You can take it with you. You can put it on the wall if you want. Mm -hmm. And uh, this controls your light. Here we've got the Treadfree gateway. Uh, we don't need it at first because um, you can only use these two components. And uh, later on, if we want to integrate it into a home assistant, we actually need this one here. And, and that's what we want to do at the end. We want to be integrating it into a home assistant. Yeah. So, right. so then we need the gateway for that. Mm -hmm. So I would say, let's start. Okay. So Björn, what is the first step then? First step is um, we just want to show the pairing between the light and the remote. Okay. So uh, for that, uh, we need to open the remote. So this one here comes with a battery and you can open it with a knife, something like this one here. And battery is already included. And here you see a small button, which is the pairing button. So it's just simple as that. Um, connect the lamp, make sure that it has AC. So, uh, and it's switched on. And uh, just put this remote here and press and hold the button for some time. And after a while, you will see it starts to light. And it's flickering a little bit. Uh, then a little bit faster. And here we go. Okay, so that's paired so, now. So that's paired now, and we okay. can all already control it. So these lights come in different options. Um, this one here is a light where you can control the temperature, light color temperature. Okay. So you can switch between, yeah, let's see, this normal white, then a little bit warmish. That's ambient white. white yeah. Ambient white, yes. And uh, if you want to work or something like this, or just need daylight, yeah. uh, then you can. Uh, Go to this hospital room white. Hospital room white, yes. Yeah. Uh, of course, you can dim it, uh, and you can switch it on or off. Of course. Yeah. So a, a question about this. this: so this kind of replaces your light switches that you this have. This replaces my light switch, which takes us to a little problem. Um, you have to switch on your light switch all the time. So okay. the light needs to be uh, powered on all the time so that it can receive all the remote commands. Okay. So um, what I did is actually um, I removed the panel from my light switch, printed something with a right 3D printer on top, and then you can put it on here. Okay. There's a magnetic plate uh, included, so you can just put it on. Okay. And that's it. So um, next thing is, I guess, that we need to add the remote control, uh, the, the, gateway. the gateway, yes. Okay. For that, um, it's important to know, uh, we need to unpair the light. Right. Or, this is quite simple. This is a remote. I guess because, why is that? Because you first, uh, if you're using a gateway, it first needs to be paired with the gateway. Yeah, this one here needs to pair it with the gateway and afterwards you can pair this one here again with the lamp. All right. And uh, that's the process. Uh, quite simple. Again, this small switch here, you need to press this four times. So one, two, three, four. And then you see this red small light red flash. light. So okay. then, then we're done. Okay. Okay, so. Then we just need to open the gateway. And you can see here um, two connectors. There's a RJ45 connector for LAN. Mm -hmm. It's got no Wi-Fi, so uh, we need... Uh, we need it needs connector. to go into Ethernet. Yeah, it might need to go to the Ethernet and a standard USB port. So okay. here we go. Just plug it in. And you will see there's a light coming. We have power. We have power, yes. 
And here we've got the internet. Ah. So the whole internet. Whole internet. Not in a black box. <laughs> Not in a black box. Uh, just plug this in here, and you see some lights. And uh, well, so what you see here: uh, three LEDs, uh, power, uh, internet, and uh, this is a, the, um, the connection between this Zigbee protocol. Is it right? So, and if that's ready. Um, we should see all three lights. So internet is already connected. So this one actually comes from your cable router or DSL router or whatever you got. Here we go. So go to the App Store and install it. Okay. Uh, so why, why, why are we waiting for that to load? Why, why do we use the... Why, what's the benefit of the, this kind of light? Yeah, um, some reasons. For example, uh, first of all, you can place your remote anywhere so you can hide it somewhere. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's it's more interesting if you, for example, if you've got a situation in a room where you've got several lights, so several on top, then maybe some somewhere else, right. and you just can pet it in and control your light scene. So uh, you do not need to change the wires in your room if you want to switch them all okay. on all at a time. So you're not limited by the wiring or existing. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And of course you can dim it, which is also quite complicated yeah. usually. So you need a special yeah. dimming switch and things like that. You can change the light color, of course. And of course, if you want to get beyond, uh, of course, with smart home, you can control it from your yeah. home assistant with... And that's really the, the, the benefit. That's the real benefit, yes. So, so here we go. We've got the app. Uh, let's get started. Yeah, have to agree to the terms and conditions as always. Yes, take all and my data. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So um, plug in your gateway. Um, we already did that. Um, next thing is that it asks us to scan a code. The code is below the device. So um, this one here. And just press scan. Yes, it may use my camera. Yeah, here we go. And just place it here. That's it. So it actually found it. OK, so, so that's paired. Congrats, yes, it's paired. Um, next thing is um, we need to add uh, this remote control to the uh, tread tree. Shall I move gateway? the light away so that we don't accidentally yeah, pair to the light? Idea. So, um, <coughs> and that's using NFC, right? When, whenever we pair with the some remote. some kind of NFC. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, we need to get really close to the device. Uh, it will tell us. So just say okay. I want to have this remote here for pairing. And uh, it says, um, yeah, you should reset the remote. It's what we already did. Yeah. And so here we go. So let's, let's it. try it. So again, this small pairing button. Mm -hmm. uh, put it somewhere here. And press it for some time. Uh, you see, okay. device found. And it takes a second. Here we go, remote control found, perfect. Remote control is now connected to Treadfree. And next thing is uh, we need to add a bulb, so light bulb. So we so already got it here. Yeah. And uh, just say bulb, yeah, okay. So it already gives instructions how to do that, so okay. Which control device are you using? Okay, I'm using this one here. Connect the light and so on. So it gives some instructions. Okay. And. Uh, we ready again, so we just put it here, and now we can pair it again with the same process as before. Takes a second, and the mobile is already will give us instructions. So hopefully, here yeah. device found. Yeah, cool. So again, perfect. Uh, so you can give a group name and so on, but we will do that in Home Assistant yeah. in a different way. Yeah. So done. But essentially our, in, our setup is now configured. Yeah, just skip this one here, continue here, yeah, there's an update available. So let's try it. Okay. Perfect. Very cool. So, so, so easy. So easy. So yeah. easy. Now we've got our Raspberry here. Okay. Um, with Home, Insist Home Assistant installed. Okay. Um, as in the last episodes. And uh, we now need to make sure that our uh, Home Assistant will find the thread free gateway. And just a note, if you want to see how, what we've done in the previous episodes, then uh, yep. uh, have a look at our channel. You'll see the previous okay. videos that show how we set that up and, and uh, yeah, how we got to this so, point. 
Yeah, we've got our prof professionally installed uh, <laughs> Home Assistant. Um, it's also connected to the same network as uh, the uh, thread free gateway. Okay. That's, uh, you need to make sure that this is uh, connected to the same gateway because it automatically will find it and it, it won't do it if it's in a different network or so. Right. Okay, so another thing we need to make sure is that uh, there's a special line in our configuration and um, you need to make sure that there's a line it's saying discovery. Uh, you can uh, add the uh, thread free gateway in another way, but it's much, much more simple to use this one here, so it will find it automatically. Yeah. Otherwise, it, you need to uh, supply the IP address. Most time, it's quite complicated to find out the IP address of the yeah. device because it's not written there and you need I'm to, all for automatic you need to check your cable router and so on, so that's not so cool. So I just need to make sure that this line is present. If not, uh, just edit and uh, restart your thread free. So if, you'd, if you've done that and you go to your thread free uh, starting page, you will find something like this here, configuration and you see IKEA thread free and you see a button which means configure. Okay. So just press this one here and then it asks for a security code. Right. Uh, this is actually the same like the barcode. So, and if you, if you turn that gateway around, you will see uh, the barcode and you will see a security code. Right. So, and uh, now let's try to add this one here. One. So we're in and um, as you see, um, um, it already found the thread free bulb. So, uh, thread free bulb E27, whatever. Okay. Let's check it. Works. Yeah, right. So, we can now Perhaps. control it from Home Assistant. Yeah. Very good. Wonderful. So, okay, so you've got the, you've got the light in Home Assistant. Can you also dim it and uh, yeah, I can. do some other controls? So, uh, just press it here and you see ah. uh, you can change the brightness. So, this okay. one here. Very cool. And because this is a uh, light where you can change the color temperature, uh, you can also do this one here. Okay. Even more steps than with this remote here, you've only got three states, so very cold, very warm and something yeah. in between. And here you uh, can change it a little bit. Very nice. More detail. But now, um, uh, it's what, what is it called at the moment? Trad Free Bulb E27? Yeah, Maybe that's we should a, give it a better super, name. super cool name, so this is our whatever. Uh, depends, depends what you like. Yeah, so uh, as always, um, you just need, net, need to get the name, uh, how it's called. And uh, this one here, I always do it like this, so just copy it from here. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit not so easy, so yeah. just take this one here. So from the States, you usually get the, the correct name. Uh, just copy it. And um, so, okay, what we need to do now is uh, just make sure that our configuration YAML contains a file which is something like this here, customize, include, customize YAML. Okay. So actually everything you customize about sensors and so on will be placed in this file so that this will not be cluttered up. So, mm. um, so just add this file here, customize YAML, and we still got uh, the name of that light here. So it was like this one here. And we just give a friendly friendly uh, name. Uh, any idea? Make a Monday light. Okay. Okay. Not so short, there is it? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, um, so configuration here and uh, just uh, you know, reload core. I guess it's okay. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay, here we go. All okay, right. so and as you can see now, the uh, light is now called Make a Monday Light. Okay. So it's got our friendly name. Yeah. Okay. And it works. Good. Perfect. All right. Thanks very much, Bjorn. And that was it for this episode of Make a Monday. Next time, join us for when we set up some Sonoff S20 devices and do some cool stuff with them. See you then.